Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 23 of this Let's Play Stellaris. This is the army with the state. We are, of course, Space Prussia. In the last episode, we were at war with the Valon Sacred Order, the Chaptak Order, and Zemapuk Autocracy, and we did take a chunk of land from those guys, and now we are basically in the post-war recovery phase. We were, I believe, building up Fangkor with new spaceport and also the crew quarters. Marvellous. And we're just going to go and sit here and recover. <clears throat> that sounds good to me. Now, because we are in the recovery phase, I think we can just go back up to fastest. And hopefully, we are producing energy everywhere that we can be. Looks like all of our industry and everything is still on. All right. Looks good. Looks good. Might take you a moment to get back into here, but as soon as you do, I'm hoping that this recovers a big chunk. And research complete. somewhat, Debris not hugely analyzed. though. More survey, so oh, hyper shields. Energy nexus would actually be really nice because that would increase the energy credits that we can get. Plus, do we have prosperity? We don't. Because if we had this one from Prosperity, the Energy Grid and Energy Nexus, the Nexus being the upgrade of the uh, grid, would then net us some additional unity, allowing us to get traditions more quickly. Although it looks like we're currently trying to cap off war games in order to finish Supremacy and get that extra 15% fire rate. Fair enough. However, I do think that we want... Oh, it wasn't actually finishing a technology. It's because we got a free one from... Yeah, um, searching debris. Speaking of debris... I want to sort these by age. We're not going to get that one. So, Tatera. That's those two. So, I'm going to grab the science ship. I'm going to say, research the projects in Tatera first, in case they go off. And then this one. And then this one. Whoops. Crap. That'll do. And those are all in that same province. And then here, which is where you are right now, I think. And then here. And you can finish off with this one and then go and get repaired. Now, the reason we're doing that in that order is because we want to finish as many of these debris as we can. Some of them will run out before the latter one, so we want to make sure we get those done. It is now safe to do so because we're no longer at war, and because we have a truce, they cannot close their borders to us, meaning we can travel through their territories nice and easily and get those things done. Uh, where are you right now? You're there. You can't land. So be it. Okay, uh, construction ship. You are hopefully building stations and things again. You are. And actually, we have very nearly recovered our energy. Why are you not moving? Oh, you are the battleship in inverted commas. Um, you are not that great anymore. You only have tier two gear. You know what? We're just going to disband you. I don't want to be paying for you because you are indeed costing us some stuff. Shaptak Order is deciding to insult us. Your pitiful nation is living on borrowed time. The space pressure will fall. It is inevitable. I disagree. I think that you are far more likely to fall than me. We have inactive buildings. Indeed we do. We are producing more than enough food, so let's shift you out the food and into the science, because science is awesome. In fact, are there any other locations where we could do that? Oh, hello. Greetings, Prussians! As you no doubt know, we, Buhaluvia, are dedicated to the study and conservation of all forms of life in the galaxy. We have studied your species and determined that Space Russia is unlikely to last more than a few centuries at best. To ensure the continuation of the Prussian species should the worst befall your empire, we would like to acquire a part of your population for our endangered species preserve. We will construct a special reservation that perfectly mirrors the natural habitat of your species, and its population will be well taken care of and protected from all harm. So you need not worry on their behalf. So, what do you say? Will you continue our to preserve and safeguard the future of your species? Very well, you'll have your contribution. Unhappiness for ten years, but... 
Yeah. So be it. Immediately, unrest kicks off. But that is going to make them like us a bit more. Which in turn can get them to give us benefits and things like that. The Xenophile Fallen Empires are actually pretty nice to have on your side. So we definitely want to be on their good graces. Marvellous. Right, we are generating a metric ton of minerals at this point. Is there anything else that we wish to do with them? I mean, mostly it's just building our population up at this point. Uh, you could build a hydroponics farm here. Let's just double check that actually everything has a building. You do. You do. Apparently the symbol of unity is also kind of crap. We could replace it with something else. Uh, for instance, an energy grid. Depending on how much energy they produce here. So 10% of an energy grid would be... Uh, 16, call it 17, so 1.7, 3.4, if we had the Nexus. I would say that's not really worthwhile. Meanwhile, over here, big deficit in terms of food, positive in energy, but not a huge one. And this is a minerals production center. I think we can basically just leave you at the moment, though. Yeah, symbols of unity, not great. These are better because you can upgrade them. Have I built a mining network? I have. Excellent. Are there any other adjacencies that you can give me? I mean, there's one here, which can be either minerals or energy. Here you get two we built the thing here we would actually get three especially if we put this into minerals we would get a double whammy from that so you know what that mining network uh would it matter it doesn't no actually this is a better spot so yes this should be a mining network and that's going to be a very very profitable mine so we'll for sure need to move someone into that this is a symbol of unity yeah we've definitely been building the wrong things and here we have someone in every location for the moment. And here are all good, likewise. Um, actually, unrest here is a problem, so we'll leave that. That's fine. This one, let's get this. And... We need to go there eventually. This is a minerals planet. It has a negative to food, so we are definitely all out mining networks in this place. And another one, I think. And potentially another one. In fact, let's cancel you. Make this into a mining network. Now, that food doesn't actually get taken away until the uh, building is finished. So we'll be generating some food from there for a while, at least. This is another minerals place. This is... What was I building? So many symbols. Oops. Symbols of unity. They really aren't that great. Um, we already have a heritage site here. We'll leave that. That's fine. This is another mineral site. But we don't need to worry about that too soon. And then you are probably the main energy producer. Do we have any energy planets? We have this one. Do you have a power grid here? You do. That's all right then. Onwards. You guys are here upgrading and all that other stuff. We just, yeah, we have auto cannons, decent shields, decent armor. All that's looking decent. Cruiser, flak batteries, and auto cannons. Okay. I was just playing the stream actually, uh, the multiplayer stream, and I was really impressed with hangers. I must admit I quite like them. If you have a lot of um, fighters then they are pretty effective anti-missile. Um, now we've been investing in... Oh, you've opened our borders. Oh sweet. Can I open my borders? To... No, they're probably open by default. But that means I can go through your territories now which is pretty sweet. Would you like a research agreement? No? No, I didn't think you would. Fair enough. It was worth a try. <laughs> 
All right, so we can now pass through their territories, which does not really grant us anything, unfortunately. Not yet, anyway. That was a research agreement that's ended. Offer trade deal, research. And we'll probably have to give you minerals. But how many? An awful lot. They do, however, have a lot of technology that we don't. That's too much, though. Screw that. And you. Probably in a similar situation. Yep, pretty much. Yeesh. And what are you after? How badly do you need minerals? Really quite badly as well. Screw that. I'm sure we can find better things to be using those minerals on. So construction ships are doing their construction-y thing. We are still very negative in energy. I don't like this. Um, is there really nothing else we can do for energy? Not in the short term. What we can do, though, is trade with the tradey powers people and get them to give us some energy. The other thing I want to do is have a look at our factions and see if we can meddle with this at all. Uh, one thing which I also found, again, in the, um, the stream, I was learning actually quite a lot of stuff just focusing and worrying about my own nation in the stream and not having to commentate anything. Like, it's actually really difficult having to commentate these series because you just lose focus all the time. I and mean, A couple of people have said, Gareth, what are you doing? You're playing terribly. Well, yeah, that's because of this. So, what are we doing? <laughs> this is exactly what I mean. Like, I've already just lost focus there. Factions. You hate us. Although the Synth Envy is very easy to overcome. We just need a single robot pop. And if we have the robotics technology, which I don't think we do, then we could just get that. I'm just going to double check. No, no robots. All right, so we just need to try and get the robot tech for that one, basically. And then that one will be resolved. And Dull Edge. Yeah, Dull Edge we're not going to be overcoming anytime soon. You already absolutely freaking love us, so that's easy. Solid liquidity. You want us to have 3,000 or more. Uh, that will come. And then you will be positive and you will give us more influence. Indirect Xenology. Legislating a passive study stance on na native interference will please the Alien Tolerance Watch. It's very easy to get a plus 10 from those guys, or rather lose the minus 10. Just go to Policies and Edicts. Native Interference. Passive Study. Boom. Okay, that's those guys happy now. And now we're getting extra influence from them. Lovely! And I don't really need to worry about them too much. Okay, then you guys. You don't like the fact that we're a secular state. That's not going to be changing. Settling on a Gaia world will please the conclave of the sacrosanct truths. So you guys are pretty chill. Um, setting foot on any tomb worlds. Mind over matter ascension perk. Or... Making sure that everyone's spiritualist. No, because we're not a spiritualist empire. And then the Prussian Primacy Party. Prussian Empress. You want the fact that we are Prussian? You don't like the fact that we're studying... Uh, that we allow Xenos to have unrestricted. You like the fact that we have disenfranchised Xenos. Now this is the Xenophile group, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, sorry, xenophobic. And we are not xenophobic. Xenophobic. So what we might want to do is suppress this faction, which will reduce the attractiveness that these guys have, thereby sending the populations to other factions and therefore making those guys happier with us. Asserting dominance. Uh, core cool world exclusivity. Reserving our empire's core cool worlds for the exclusive use of Prussians. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So we're going to suppress you. It will cost us one influence, but thanks to our work in basically beefing up our relations with some of the other guys, that is going to start paying for itself relatively soon, I think. Um, yeah, it's just these guys that we will need to try and overcome, but it's mostly the Synth Envy. Once we get rid of that, they'll be at 45, so that should be good. The threat of forceful intervention has come to 
has done little to dissuade the disruptive elements of Ithrus Prime. In fact, the locals seem to have lost faith in the method of control, so most more of them become pacifist, which is unfortunate. That being the absolute opposite of what we Construction do. Construction complete. Construction complete. Okay, good. Now, the other one that we can do is, like, encourage factions, which will make them happier for a time. So we could, for example... Embr no, no, it's not embracing. Is it? Embracing is like it kills everything else. Um, so we don't want to do that because it pisses off every all the other factions. And I don't really want to do that right now. So no, we're just going to leave it as is. Special project complete. In the secular state. I don't actually know what this one means. Having spiritualist values be reflected of all levels of government will please the conclave of sacrosanct truths. I don't Income know what that one means. If you happen to know what this is asking complete. for, let me know in the comments. Unless I can get you to tell me somewhere else. I don't think I can, though. All right, trade deal. You want research agreement for much cheaper. Yes. Oh, this is because it's only a 10-year agreement. Ah, uh, fair enough. Zemma Pukotocracy, that was, that's good. Because these guys are now getting a little bit isolated. He was still good friends with them, but that was a uh, non-aggression pact that someone else was breaking with them. Alright. We're still losing money. I don't like the fact that we are losing money. Are there any systems that we could try and take over with... Um, frontier Outposts? No, I don't think so. Else we would have done that already. We basically just need to keep on expanding through conquest against these guys. Then we can take over this northern area. Rothak Star Confederacy, we're friends with you, right? Special project complete. We have a non-aggression pact. You never wanted the defensive pact, though, which I think is going to cost you in the long run. Because once these guys are gone, who do you think is going to be next? It's not them. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Construction complete. So mostly we're just waiting for the technologies to finish. I especially want to have more power techs. Oh, what the hell? Why? Are you building stuff in my system? Friendly free. Oh, I see. So it's the uh, sector paying for stuff rather than me. Okay, that's entirely reasonable. All right, I like that. Ooh, that's a planet we could colonize. Ocean world, sixty-five percent. Oh, it has um, presentience on it already. And are we looking at... Ooh, we can terraform. Interesting. Now, in the expansion planner, are there terraforming candidates in here? particularly for us. Now I want this to be, I want to be able to filter this and say in our own territory. Although this is just getting further and further away. Ooh, lush. Wow, that's a good one. Um, and it does say how good it is there. No, I... All 20%, 0%. Oh, I see. It is Ah, right. Um, where are you? What's that mean? Energy and physics output. Now, we probably want to have a look at some of these bigger ones. Two tomb worlds. Can we colonize or um, work on those? A 23 tomb world.
it can be terraformed. A rocky world with a nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere, it is currently experiencing a nuclear winter with dense layers of sooty aerosols in the atmosphere, high levels of surface radiation, minimal signs of life. It's an alright planet. Has climate restoration. I th okay. So that's not an option then. Um, can't do the other tomb world. Savannah world? Where are you? Can't be done until we've done the anomaly. That I do know. Two worlds, two more. Wow, that's a lot of two worlds. Yeah, it's still got to be somewhere relatively close. Desert world. As an anomaly. This one, though, doesn't. Ridicus 2. Ridicus 2, are you a potential option? You're quite small. And you could be terraformed into an arid or savanna. What are we? We're normal, aren't we? Um, yeah, continental, wet. So we don't want something that's too far away. Although actually doing any of these would allow us to just take it. So you have an anomaly. You don't. You are a big world as well. Lithia 2. You would be a perfect candidate, actually. Lithia 2. Select you. Terraform. Oh, this is going from desert to arid or savannah. It requires atmospheric manipulation to actually change any of those. So you can make a relatively good world become like a perfect world, but you can't take an imperfect world and make it a decent world. Okay, good to know. Good to know. How the sector's doing is the next question. Complete. We are currently demanding the absolute minimum from you, although you, I think, can afford more. You probably can't, and actually I could send you some resources to make sure you can continue building stuff. Like so. And that's giving you a decent budget to build stuff and you guys are instantly spending it. Which I'm quite happy to invest in you. Because we have so many minerals anyway. I mean, yes, we should be building up our fleet as well, but I'm, I'm aware that the more we build the fleet up, the um, more energy it will cost to maintain. Right, you have finished your job. Are you able to assist? You can do automatic exploration though. Let's do that. And just let you get on with it. I know we don't have assist, inf uh, assist research. Fair enough. Do we have discover? No. Oh, in that case. Actually, actually, actually. Where was that anomaly? And just in general, let's go and have a look around at the... D oh, you're a level one. That was probably why. Fair enough. And there are a couple of worlds here that I would really like to take. And they're both in the blue system, which we're actually friendly with. Dead scientist. Not good. Let's recruit another one. We have plenty of influence right now. Experience gains nice. So is... Um... Lifespan. Let's take the lifespan. You're youngest and you have the longest lifespan. We'll do that. We're about to get the biolab so we can get a couple more building upgrades going. And we're also very soon going to get the kinetic and physics labs. Cool! Research complete. The other thing we can do is upgrade our spaceports. Uh, Seijima is our builder place. You are also being upgraded to be a builder. We could get a second fleet academy here so we can have both of you building the useful things and we could also get rid of the fleet panels to allow you to get crew quarters I don't think we need to do that really uh, you have some upgrades the main thing that we need right now is just upgrading the starports which have already been done never mind biolab growth time we could clear that or we could get more influence from factions are we maxed out anywhere no but the more that we suppress these guys, the more these guys are going to grow. And the more they grow, the more influence they'll generate for their happiness. 
It does also reduce the leader cost. Moving glaciers. I mean, we're not on alpine worlds, but we might be in the future. Go ahead. We'll make use of it eventually, I'm sure. And next question is, how long is our truce? 17. So four more years, and then we'll be in a position to go after them again. So we don't need to build up our fleet immediately. Um, we can just do that in the future. You have grow economy, which is <laughs> increasing more energy credits. Great. Uh, government. Do we have another... Oh, we have another civic choice. So we will need to reform our government at some point, which will cost more influence. The other thing I wanted to have a look at are what edicts do we have currently. So we have encourage, th encourage free thought, which does spread out your ethics attraction. If you take the information quarantine, then your people will be forced into militarism and... What are we? Materialism? Which are positive for us, because that will mean that those factions that we can generally keep happier will make more stuff for us. More uh, influence. Research returns to zero point reactor. I think that is the one that we want. Although that is also nice. Again, for the same reason, it forces people in the direction that we want them to be in. But no, I'm going to take the power. And here we want the engineering facility, almost certainly. So we can keep that technology going. And on that note, we're going to end this episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying this series, then please do hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, then do consider subscribing. And if you have any tips or advice for me, let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.